All right, so spring is here, which means bear season. Spring bear hunting is arguably one of my favorite things besides for uh, mule deer. I'd rank bear hunting second on the list of my most favorite hunt to go on. And beauty about it, spring bear hunts are a hunt you can do every single year. So what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna talk about uh, three of my favorite states. And by favorite states, I mean these are the states that are easily obtainable for any hunter to go on. You know, there's obviously, you know, bear hunts in Alaska, there's bear hunts in other states, some are draw, some are, you know, more, other ones are over the counter. But the three I'm gonna talk about right now are the ones that you probably will think about when you think of spring bear hunting. So that's Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming. So how to narrow down a spring bear hunt. Well, that's probably one of the most difficult things is just to figure out where you wanna go. Because like I said, these tags are over the counter, you can hunt them every single year. But you wanna figure out where to narrow it down. Because you have a big state, try and narrow it down really quickly. And to do that, we'll jump into filtering 2.0 on Insider. It's gonna be super easy. So I'm just gonna hover over Insider at the top. First example, I'm gonna go over to Idaho. So I click on Idaho and filtering 2.0. Right away, you'll see the menu of filtering 2.0. Jump over here, we're gonna click on Black Bear. And then now you will see the entire state of Idaho, all the units that are, that are available for a black bear hunt. But since I said, we're looking at a spring bear hunt, we wanna go out, kick off the dust, test out some gear and go hunting the spring. We've been cooped up all winter, time to get out and have some fun. So on the select season here on the right, I'm gonna go any legal weapon spring over the counter. And so see right now we have 78 total results. So 78 units in Idaho that have over-the-counter spring black bear hunts, which right away you'll notice that that is pretty much the entire state of Idaho, except for this extreme southwest and southern portion of the state. How do you narrow it down from there? Well, through filtering 2.0, we can dive into a ton of different scenarios of how to narrow down where to hunt black bears. So one of the easiest way for me to do this is, um, I like to, up at the top here, there's a sort by. So right here it says sort 88 results by, and right now it's defaulted at alphabetical. So this can go unit one, two, three, et cetera. What I'm gonna do here is sort by number of bears harvested. So what this is gonna allow you to do is kind of quickly see where more bears are taken in the state, obviously, because we're sorting from number of bears harvested from the highest to the lowest. But also, I'll throw a little caveat in there. Sometimes you might not want to instantly pick out the top one because there could be a ton of hunters in there. And that's gonna be the great thing too about this is, let's say I clicked on, right now it's showing unit 39, just totally using this as an example because um, it's the top one right now. So it says there is a ton of bears harvested. What was that number again? Yeah, it shows 141 bears harvested in 2019, which is the last uh, harvest data available. But then you can jump down in somebody's comments and be like, hey, a bunch of insiders are commenting. This one guy right here says, how is the hunting pressure during the spring bear season? So you can expect to be higher due to the proximity of Boise. So besides for looking at the data, like I said, even though this unit has a ton of bears harvested, you might want to read some of these comments in the unit profile to figure out maybe popularity, maybe a bunch of people are actually talking about the unit, you know, not giving out secret spots, but they're just having conversations down below that might help you weigh your decision on if this unit might be right for you or not. Okay, so I just jumped back to the main manual filtering 2.0, and again, we have number of bears harvested top to bottom. So like I said, you might want to avoid some of these top ones, they might be good too, but it gives you a good idea of where this trending bear units are. Another great thing to do is down in the lower right corner under our filter section, if you go underneath the uh, select season, there's a filter for public land and a filter for number of animals harvested. So you could crank that up to, I'm just gonna go 46. So instantly we went from 78 results down to 11 units that harvest uh, 46 bears all the way up to um, the top number. So now we have a lot easier time to decide what unit might be great for you. Which you can do here too, like let's say you're coming from a certain state and you wanna find a good unit that might be a little bit closer. This is a great way to do that because you can see where a lot of these units are um, on this upper northern portion of Idaho. Maybe you're coming from Montana, maybe you're coming from Washington. You want a closer bear spot, that's how you kind of narrow it down too. But you can also then start diving into those unit profiles, reading some of that data, reading um, all the terrain features in the unit and also you could use the public land filter, but I will throw another caveat out there. In Idaho, a lot of times in these bear units, when you filter by public land, you're not gonna really lose a lot of these units because there's gonna be a ton of public land in there. So right now I have this cranked all the way up to 60% uh, public land and I still have nine units to look at. So from here, it's just basically reading through a bunch of these unit profiles, maybe reading through some of these comments, seeing how the bear activity might be in these units and then trying to figure out which one might have some of those train features that you would like to hunt. Are you looking for something that's super remote, like in a wilderness area, 
or just more remote in terms of, you know, not near a big town, that sort of thing. All right, so you see quickly we went from a ton of units down to a handful of units in pretty much four to five different clicks of a mouse. You can quickly narrow things down on filtering 2.0. This is Idaho. So right now let's jump over and just quickly look at Montana and do the same sort of thing. So right now I went to Montana. It's gonna showcase all the species in the state. I'll click on black bear. You know, notice in Montana that they actually have different hunt districts boundaries for black bear than they do like deer elk, if you're used to hunting general season deer elk in Montana. So we have 25 different results in Montana that actually have um, bear hunting opportunities. We're gonna again go um, any legal weapons spring over the counter as one of our filters, and we still have 25. So now we have to narrow it down from there again. So I'll do the same sort of process I did in Idaho by either sorting by number of bears harvested. It's gonna be a good idea of some of these units in Montana that are trending towards killing a lot more bears. But again, I might wanna look at some of these other ones that might not be at the top just because it's gonna attract a lot of people when they see, hey, there was a hundred and some bears killed in this unit in whatever last year the harvest reports were. So I might scroll down, look at a couple of these, highlight over them, see where they're at in the state. I can also zoom in on filtering 2.0 to kind of see some of these train features, like where I might assume bears are gonna be. And from there, um, down below again, I might want to narrow this down further by, let's say 50% or more public land. And now I went from 25 units in the state, instantly down to 16. Um, let's do some filtering on number of bears killed. So let's go 40 bears and up. Now we're down to 10. Crank that up to 60 bears. 61. Uh, now we're down to six units. So you can see again how quickly you can go from a giant state, never hunted Montana for bears before, and you want to narrow down a spot where you can go have fun with your buddies every single year and bear hunt. This is how you do it. And now, for example, I'll just want to jump into one of these units. And here's where I can start reading everything about hunting black bear in this particular unit. Scroll down, look at the terrain, the vegetation, check out some of the access information. And then down below, kind of get into the nitty gritty of possibly how to hunt bears in this unit and then start looking at some of this data of is this a unit that's trending? Is there be more bears being killed every single year or is it one of those units that is like kind of going down? Maybe a lot more people are going there, harvest success isn't doing so hot. So you kind of dive all that into the unit profiles and then again you can go down to the bottom, check out some of the comments, see what people are saying about that unit to uh, figure out something you want to do. And then Wyoming will be the same exact process. Jump into Wyoming click on black bear and again it shows there's 34 units in Wyoming that offer a black bear hunt and we just want to focus right now on the rifle spring hunt and we still have 34 units and again I would go through and sort by public land percentage sort by number of bears killed and run through those same sort of filter things and dive into unit profiles and there's a lot of other things you can do from here um, one of them we're going to say for next time we actually can jump into uh, go hunt 3d maps and actually, so I have a unit picked out that I wanna go bear hunting, but I wanna dive in and check out that terrain, see if it's terrain that actually is gonna hold black bears. Cause a lot of this stuff in Wyoming, for example, right now that you look at like, hey, does that actually hold bears? You know, so you wanna find something that's gonna hold a lot of bears and that terrain that's gonna be huntable for whatever style you're looking for, looking for backpack hunt, you're looking for closed logging roads, that sort of thing. You can dive all into that in 3D maps and kind of start planning out your hunt and figuring out exactly if that's a unit you wanna go into. And then one more piece I want to mention too while we're here, besides for filtering 2.0, is a bunch of these written articles about actually getting out and bear hunting and strategies you should be looking for for terrain and how to actually hunt bears. So if you go, go under content, and you click on skills, it's gonna pull up all of our skills articles on the website, but the way to narrow it down to just black bear, black bear hunting, you'll see at the top on our skills, a big paragraph about skills, and then you'll see all these little uh, um, links to different uh, uh, categories and you'll see under the uh, fourth one over black bear click on that now this is going to give you all of our like in-depth how to hunt black bear type articles and you can just read through a bunch of those start figuring out more about bears and bear habitats and actually how to hunt bears so there's a lot of tools on go hunt that allow you to narrow down a, a black bear hunt like i said the easiest one my favorite one is filtering 2.0 and then also using our 3d web map to hone in on those bear spots so Get out there, go on a spring bear hunt, kick off the dust, test out your new gear. It's a fun way to, you know, hone in your tactics, hone in glassing and that sort of thing. And just, it's a blast of a hunt. Every year I look forward to a spring bear hunt. So you guys should definitely check it out. And it is very easy if you've never been bear hunting before to find a unit to go. And so yeah, to follow up this video too, um, we're gonna do another video where I actually take a state 
dive into our Go Hunt 3D maps on the web, and I start showing you different layers and different tools on a web mapping application that I use when I'm starting to hone in exactly where I want to bear hunt. Like I would have a unit picked out, but I want to start narrowing down the spots in the unit where I will start uh, hunting. So that video will be following this one as well. So you kind of get a, a double edge of strategy on using filtering 2.0 and then taking it one step further with maps to hone in on that perfect bear hunting area. Yeah.